It wasn't a bloody vaccine. Of Just, course it no, wasn't. It wasn't. Yes, it it, was. No, it isn't. Yes, it this used vaccine to be technology. vaccines. Now this is vaccine. No. Folks, it's time to do my favorite thing, dunking on Jordan Peterson. Peterson makes it so easy to dunk on him as there are no shortage of stupid things that exit his mouth on a daily basis. So, Jody Boy decided to debate Wiki Boy Destiny on a range of topics including climate change, politics, vaccines, and so on and so forth. And it went as well as you would have expected with Jordan Peterson, making a total fool of himself. We don't generally use force to invade people's bodies. How long have vaccine mandates been a thing in Canada, the United States, and the entire world? I don't think they should have been a thing. That's great. I if you don't think they should have been, but when we say we don't generally use policy. force, we absolutely use force. We use, look, we, we've been forced vaccines for a long time. Look, it's an important part of public yes, health. Fair enough. See how Peterson is almost jumping out of his chair. Contrast this with the cool, calm, collected man who dismantled Kathy Newman just a few years ago. But what you see here is the husk of something that was once promising, and for that I feel very sorry for him. The level of mental, psychological and behavioral retardation is so stark that only a moron would miss it. First. John Peterson is acting like he doesn't know that people's rights exist at the mercy of government. Whatever your ideas of freedom are, they exist only to the extent that the government allows them. The idea that government cannot force people to do things is an illusion. I, like Peterson, wish the government doesn't have the power to force people to do things. But that's where it ends, wishful thinking. Despite my wishes and protestations, government does have the power to force people to do things that they may otherwise not want to do. Does Peterson think that government-mandated COVID vaccines was the first time government forced people to do things? Ask Jordan Peterson to drive around in his car without his seatbelt on, in exercise of his free will and rights. After all, the only person at risk of being hurt is himself. But he can't do that. That's because the government mandates that everyone wears a seatbelt. I wonder why Jordan Peterson is not kicking against that and so many other things that governments mandate its citizens to do. We did it on a scale and at a rate during the COVID pandemic, so-called pandemic, that was unparalleled. What does Peterson mean by so-called pandemic? Is he insinuating that the pandemic wasn't real? For a disease that has killed more than 7 million people till date, albeit older people and people with comorbidities, for Peterson to be so flippant about the deaths of millions of people is truly revealing about his deteriorated state of mind. Is he insinuating that those deaths are false? Even if the mortality figures are exaggerated, it's still a tragedy for millions of people to lose their lives to a virus. Jordan Peterson sits comfortably in the realm of conspiracy theorists. What's most fascinating to me is why Peterson is trying so hard. Why is he trying too hard to be convincing? It just makes him come off as desperate and goofy. The truth hardly requires the kind of exaggerated theatrics he employs, especially against someone as unknown or mundane as destiny. And the consequence of that was that we injected billions of people with an experimental, and it wasn't a bloody vaccine. Of Just, course, no, it wasn't. Yes, it it was. Was. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Pretty boy, if it wasn't a vaccine, then what the hell was it? Are there legitimate concerns on the safety of the vaccines considering the short amount of time it was created? Yes, but this is not out of the ordinary in the drug manufacturing process. While drug development usually takes a long time to establish safety before a drug is approved for use, in certain conditions there can be accelerated approval or emergency use authorizations. What was the world supposed to do when a virus was burning its way through millions of people? Nothing. COVID policy was perhaps shoddily implemented, but the world had not dealt with something like this in a very long time. That the policies routinely changed was evidence of real-time learning and adaptation to new information. Jordan Peterson is not a medical personnel or a biological scientist. So, on whose authority is he stating that the COVID-19 vaccines were not vaccines? It's not. Well, because it have a 100% success rate, you think it's a definition of vaccine? Well, the whole point of the vaccine is to give your body a protein it's to train on so the your immune system works. Who cares if it's not the same? There's plenty of... There's they different used types the word of, vaccine so that they didn't have to contend with the fact that it wasn't the same technology. There are different types of vaccines there certainly that are, are, that are different technologies. Fine. The mRNA vaccines is a type this of used vaccine to be technology. Vaccines. Now this is vaccines. No, it was like... What the hell does Jordan Peterson mean by that? Is he an expert on vaccines now? It's simply irresistible to laugh at Jordan Peterson's incredible but confident display of ignorance. It's safe to say that Jordan Peterson doesn't know what a vaccine is. This and now it's like this. No, no, no. It was like this and now it's like this. The MNR, mRNA technology was a radical qualitative leap forward in technology. You can call it a vaccine if you want to. 
but it bears very little resemblance to any vaccine that went before that. And the reason it was called a vaccine was because vaccine was a brand name that had a track record of safety and shoehorning it in that was one of the ways to make sure that people... Good Lord, there's just so much stupidity condensed in less than two minutes of interaction. Imagine having to live with a person like this every day. The horrors. Do you know how it comes across that Destiny has more accurate information about vaccines than Jonathan Peterson, a professor of psychology? At least Destiny reads, Peterson just makes stuff up from his broken mind. And I'm seriously surprised at how Peterson ever became a professor of anything.